guest in the kitchen mm -hmm. shout out to my auntie shana who Thank is you. also an amazing 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 chef we've been waiting for forever to bring her on and she's here she's here look at look at the look at them twinning you guys know Woo! you know you, <laughs> you know the pretty lady in the green and yellow wow. you guys wow. know who that is so yeah. mommy is in the kitchen today auntie shana is in the kitchen today daddy is in the kitchen Lord today and we thought we would bring you guys something different, something, you know, uh, unique, unique yes. and ready for, you know, the weather's getting better. Spring is coming in, peeking through. The summer is coming through. And you guys are going to be probably hosting. You're probably going to be having people over again. And, and you don't want to just always go to Costco to get the appetizers. You want to make a nice, authentic Jamaican yard style yes, right. appetizer. appetizer. Yes. Yes. So. Yes, you, you want to know that when your people come over to your yes. spot, they will not stop talking about the appetizers, the food, everything that was at your barbecue or your event, whatever it may be this spring, summer. So, Auntie Shana, without further ado, tell the people then where we are met today. All right, yes, yeah, the people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's uh, that, that's that's where you tell them what we're making. Yeah. What is it called? What is it called? Okay, so today we are making aki and saltfish plantain cookie. Yeah, style. Yeah, yes. yes. aki and saltfish plantain, saltfish. plantain cupcakes. Cake. Yard yeah, style. Oh, you give them permission for this. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, so we're not going to waste any more time. It's already two minutes and a half in. We don't want to keep you guys waiting. If you're already excited, it's time for you to like, comment, and subscribe. Right down in the comments right now. We're about to make the coolest, coolest little appetizer that tastes so delicious. And if you're getting it from Auntie Shana, then you know it's going to be ton up. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so where do we begin? We Okay, we're going to start off right here with our bell peppers. Okay. Yeah or onion, or garlic, or thyme, or scallion, tomato, and of course, let's not forget the hot scotch bonnet pepper. Okay. And over here, so we have a salt fish already cooked. Yes. Break up to get, break together, small little pieces, because you're gonna put it in the cup. So, cake. so what do you, you had to boil this off Yes, yeah, so I boil it off first, and then I, I soak it in some cold water, and then I drain it, and I pick it all up very small. Okay. And if you guys want to know like the specifics on how to make that uh the saltfish for the aki remember that we have aki and saltfish on the channel already so you can go and get an in-depth video okay all right next step and over here so we have this main ingredients mr plantain look how him nice and pretty <laughs> <laughs> mr plantain okay perfect all, all right, right so, so we're gonna um, peel our plantain <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we're peeling our plantain. Stove is being turned down in the back. Yes. What's the heat level supposed uh, to be? Uh, we're just gonna keep it at moderate for now and then um when she's ready then she, she can turn it up a little bit higher. Okay, yeah. so medium for now. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're cutting these plants. Peel, peeling the plantain. Cut it down this side. Then we're gonna chunk it we're gonna make chunks okay oh i'm used to like the thin sliced plantain mm -hmm. no this are the chunky plantain that's the best way to do yes, this right mm -hmm. so it's the best way to do it then we're gonna we're just waiting until the waiting pot, for the pot to get hot because okay. we're gonna be frying the plantain 
okay in the in the oil here and um, we have a bougie oil we have a bougie <laughs> oil here <laughs> it, it, it has it, it, it you can use it it's avocado oil and it has a very high frying temperature do okay? regular avocado oils not have the high frying no this is the only uh, avocado oil has a good high te okay, high temperature okay, okay, nice. so good you can enough. fry with it okay yeah but enough. it's more healthy for you okay it's healthier mm -hmm. yeah. all right okay. we're always here for the healthier yeah. option mm -hmm. okay so i think I think the pot is hot enough right now, so okay. we're gonna take I'm gonna follow you over and we're gonna drop it in. Just gonna drop it around the sides. Okay, so on their sides. Yes. Drop it on the side and let him fry up. Okay. We don't want him to fry too too dark now, so we're just gonna let him fry. Fry up. Fry up. Look nice in the pot. Okay. Frying. You want okay. to you want to turn him. You don't want it to you don't want it to burn, right? You don't want it to fry now, so you turn him over to the other side. You flip him over. Okay. Yeah. So you don't want them to like over fry. You don't want it to be over fried. Like know? a light fry. Like, like a light, golden. yeah. That's right. Golden, golden fry. Okay. Okay. So, Auntie Shana, yes. I have a couple of questions for you while we allow this planting to do its thing. How long have you been the amazing chef that you are? Oh my God, from the idea of my knee. <laughs> <laughs> I used to sit in my grandma's kitchen, God rest her soul, and watch her cook. I was the only one who was going in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Everybody was out playing, but I wanted to see what grandma was doing. So she used to say, come Sean, come sit with grandma. Aww. So that's when I started cooking, and I think I was about nine. And wow. it never left me. And it never ever left you, huh? Yes, never leave me. Yeah, because you've been chefing it up ever since. Yes, yes, yes. I love to cook. <laughs> cooking is my passion. <laughs> and you know, there's lots of people who cooking is their passion, but lad, the food not good at all. <laughs> lad, when you're cooking with love, that's my main ingredient. Love. Yes, lots yes. of love. <laughs> yes. So when you're cooking with love, even if you don't put seasoning in it, it still tastes sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she definitely yeah. has that way. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna turn, turn the heat down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Heat. Oh, that's high. Turning the heat down. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't want it to. Would you say that that's two burns? So two this this is okay. It's not two burns. So then we're okay. gonna kind of just flip it on to the. But she have old school, very old Listen, school. Listen, we love old very school. Very old school. Look at me. We love old school. Old school gets it done. So we're gonna let the edge of the planting just fry a little, just a little golden brown. Okay. Little golden brown. Then we're gonna flip him over. You don't want him to fry too. For too long. Too long. So basically, all the edges. All the edges, yeah. All the edges you want it to get its little time. In that's the right. That's right. Everybody needs to get a little bit of the oil. Okay. Makes sense. Let's turn the heat off. Okay. So heat is turned off. The planting looks like how it's supposed to look. That's right. Mm -hmm. Nice all and golden. All sides got a little bit of golden. Yes. All right. So what do we do so now? We're gonna take it. Are we gonna? We're gonna we're gonna spray our cupcake pan with some Pam Pam. Okay. A little bit of Pam. Then we're gonna put the plantain in the cupcake pan like that. Okay. This is interesting. I've never seen this done, you guys. One thing Just I like love that. is cupcake is, um, muffin tin. Muffin, muffin tin. tin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Muffin tin. Yeah. I've yeah. never seen it done. Yeah. It's cool. It's unique. Yes. It, yeah. It's it. You know, it's fun to do. You know, you can have the kids in the kitchen. 
teaching them to cook and you know yeah. it's something fun mm -hmm. so and then okay we're gonna rest it over here we're gonna come over here are you gonna get something with with a flat bottom you okay. understand this bottle okay. is washed this and bottle clean. is washed cleaned okay so and you're just picking a, a, any so you can pick any anything, random bottle anything any random but make bottle. sure that you sterilize that's and clean right it. okay and you're gonna press Oh. You know, press and then you're gonna gently form a little pocket, whatever you want to mm -hmm. call it. Because this pocket is where the aki is gonna go into this pocket. That's Interesting. right. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would have used the bottom and then just started crying yeah. when I saw that it didn't turn into a cup. <laughs> I didn't realize mm -hmm. that the top, to, the top to form, yeah. mm -hmm. creates the little dip the in little there. Dip. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Guys, you are learning all of the technique and the coolness. Listen, this is another reason why Jamaicans are special people, man. Look, Number one. Look, nothing will go to waste. All the buckle get used. Not a thing. So when the, <laughs> when you finish with the pepper, you use up the buckle. Yep. <laughs> so you can do as much as you want. <laughs> you see a nice little pocket. Mm -hmm. Trust me, you're going to love it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Right. I know. And you mm -hmm. just do the remainder. I can't wait to see. I'm gonna try goes. one. I'm gonna try one. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. So we just press. press. Okay. You're too strong. <laughs> <laughs> so press, press it up on that one too strong. Okay. Press it. Yeah. Okay. And then we here. Take your time. Take your time. Pocket. Take your time. Take it easy. Yep. No joke. <laughs> shout yeah, out to, shout out to have colors. Your pretty, yeah, yes. Cause, say, yeah, yeah. Big up colors. Colors on the team, man. Big them up, man. Yep. Always. No joke. Take your time. Take your time and take it easy. Yeah. Take it easy. Okay, and then up like that. Yes, gently, gently press. There you yeah, go. There yeah. you go. There you go. All right. There you go, All right. Okay. So, so here. We... No, no, go right no, on. So go here on. we are again, all nice and pressed out. Okay. So we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees. Okay. For bake for about five. 10 to 10 minutes okay all right about five to ten minutes yes. mm -hmm. and then they turn out when like that right when they're finished they're gonna look like this okay. before we, before yeah. we put the filling in yeah. see yeah like a nice cupcake cupcake mm -hmm. okay that's what it looks okay, like okay you mm -hmm. guys looks like it's nice and crispy on yes, the edges yes. nice and crispy, crispy the edges are so you can put your oven and broil for probably about three to four minutes not too much because you don't want it to get too crispy okay all, all right. right okay perfect so now do we are we preparing so now we're gonna get ready to prepare our aki and sawfish okay perfect so the stove is already the pot's yeah. already hot and on high. so we're gonna put in our bougie our bougie oil i'm stealing my words olive oil it's not olive um, <laughs> avocado oil. Sorry, oil. My bad. avocado, avocado oil. oil so the pot's already hot and ready to not go not quite not quite it still needs a little almost bit. but we're gonna come on the turn turn on this side you take your, your aki out of the can i usually just wash it off put it in some boiling water for about a minute or two that's what i do you don't have to do it but that's that's how i grow up doing it so we yeah. drain it off yeah. and you just use the regular can aki right that's right that's right okay mm. okay and then, yeah and we just straighten it off there strain it off boil it off that's right mm -hmm. and prepare it okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so what do we have now? What are we doing now? So now we're gonna put in our, our, our seasoning, our fresh seasoning. So we're gonna put in our bell pepper. Ooh. Ooh. Pot is nice and sizzling. That's how you like the pot, That's eh? how we like to hear the pot of sizzle. <laughs> You put in all your favorite fresh veggies. Boy, not too hot. Then you're gonna saute it. Oh, look how pretty that looks. That's the whole idea because it's a, it's a summer, it's a summer appetizer. So you want, summer is coming up, so you want to incorporate all your beautiful colors, your yellow, your red, and your green. And then we're gonna go in and I'm gonna just use some black pepper. Black pepper. Some vegetable seasoning. Vegeta. Yes, and some garlic powder. Garlic powder. That's all we're gonna be putting into it. Nothing much. Nothing much because your fresh seasoning is already nice and sweet. Okay. And guys, trust me, <laughs> you eat, you eat any of the food that she makes. Mm. You lick, you lick your ten finger and, and your I, I don't measure, I, I, I throw. I throw. <laughs> a, a, a pinch of this, a smidgen of that. That's yes. how my grandmother ta taught me. I never measure, I just throw. And I know, you know, I don't have to taste and it comes out Real, real good. Mm -hmm. I love that. <laughs> we can tell. Cause look, Yo, guys, let's let's just smell the aromas. Get her, yes. Mm -hmm. Smell yeah. how pretty that is. Yeah, see how you all can the, just eat that by itself. Yeah, yeah. All, all of them are getting cooked. Yeah, yeah. Translucent. Yeah. And I forgot my most famous seasoning of all. Up in the cupboard here, I'm gonna take it out. And sprinkle some love. <laughs> yes, y'all are love, I'm sprinkling. There oh, you go, love. a little bit of love. Let me give me put my hand yeah, into it. Yeah, yes, put in your love too. Your love yeah. in it. Yeah. Bam! That's right. Oh, Bam! <laughs> <laughs> so now, we're going to go here, we're going to get our sausage. It's Saturday morning. This gonna, is the codfish. This is the codfish. A codfish. Really good this is a real cod from Newfoundland. Fish. That's right. So yeah, you know where all the cod comes from. You're eating good fish. Yes. <laughs> it's such high energy on this Saturday morning. And you see, you don't want it too too greasy, right? So mm -hmm. yeah, no. So it's still moist, but not a lot of grease. So you're gonna stir in your salt fish. Stir the pot. Stir the pot. Stir the pot. You're gonna be doing this on low to medium heat. Okay. Low to medium heat. Low mm -hmm. to medium, y'all. Low to medium. This doesn't take a lot of time. See? Actually, you're in and out the kitchen in no time. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to wait no longer. We're going to oh. throw in Mr. Ake. We're throwing Mr. Ake in the pot. And we're just going to turn. We're going to turn. Time. We're take not stirring. Time. We're going to turn. So we don't so want the Ake to mash up. Mash up. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah. You want to still see a hot looks so hole. delicious. Oh, look how good that so looks. So I noticed that you turned just like and like I said, you guys. If you need like a more in-depth uh, ackee and saltfish tutorial, it is on the channel. But just so I know, I noticed that you turned when you put the ackee inside the pot. You said you have to turn. Not, not, not like, stir. not stir. Mm -hmm. Because it's, when you turn, it don't mash out your ackee. Like mm -hmm. when you're baking, your the ackee stay, the ackee stay, stay firm, firm because the ackee is soft. Okay. So you turn, so you can flip it. Turn. Look at all of it, you see? Yeah, so your ackee's hole is not all mashed out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, that's is why I turn. Mm -hmm. And you want to preserve as much of the preserve shrimp as, as possible. Preserve as much as yeah. I can. Yeah, yeah. 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 we got to check. Oh, yeah. Planting in the oven. So it, it's yeah. just about ready. Yep. Just so, about. Yeah. So just my, about. Just my, about. My sister here is going to pull him out. So it's just about ready. It's Do you ready. want it to go on broil for a couple of minutes? Couple? Yes. Yeah. Be We're okay. going to put it on broil for a few minutes. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Broil. Just for about two to three minutes. Just yeah. To, to get that crispiness. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. 
So now we're gonna take take him out the oven, all mm. nice and crispy up. Mm. See, mm. you mm. can just smell, smell so the aroma. Mm -hmm. And Ooh. after that, this is this is what it's gonna look like when you when it's done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Turn, turn Looks on. like it might be time to fill these bad boys up. Yes, mm -hmm. so with some ake. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take our pot uh, over. Use a little spoon. Over to spoon. here, yes. Yeah, gonna, look whoa, at that. That's beautiful. We're gonna oh. start to fill. Yep. Okay. So you're gonna scoop them. Scoop a little. Gonna let, me get a, let me get. Let me get. Let me. Let me get a good position here. Yep, a little bit of everything. A little bit, and you scoop him in. You see how nicely it fits in there? Mm -hmm. Perfect. There. See, fill him up. Mm. Mm, doesn't that look mouth watery? It like does. you want to jump through that camera and just mm -hmm. eat it up. For those of you who have never had aki, I think it's time for you to start trying it. And if you try it this way for the first time, wow. Whew, you're about to be spoiled. And remember, aki is Jamaica's national dish. Yes, aki and saltfish. And aki and saltfish. Is everybody's favorite. Yep. And plantain is everybody's favorite. We always have plantain at the side of our plate. Yes. So there we all scoop it in. You guys, can't you see this being the cutest little appetizer? People start arriving. Oh my God, people will just to love it. Take one off of the platter and enjoy with a little glass of champagne or some wine. Come on. Not a mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We're getting you guys ready for summer. You can't tell us that we don't love you. We brought a whole top-notch guest on here so that you guys can be the best hosts this spring summer like shout out to us going back to having you know people over yeah yeah, yeah. straight out of quarantine straight out of quarantine <laughs> <laughs> for some of you guys you guys have been out of out of lockdown and quarantine for a very long time so that sounds crazy but for us canadians you know our regulations are just dropping so mm -hmm. This is how we celebrate. So this is, this is, this is how we do it. So this is our <laughs> Aki and Sawfish stuff planting. Okay. All right. So basically what you're trying to say is that we it's time to share out the plate. Plates. So we're going to plate it up. Okay. okay. All right, guys. Right. Get ready for your plate. Peace and love always!